What's up, people? <clears throat> so I made a video about, I think this is the first video I ever made. About, I showed like a bunch of my stuff where I'm at in the game. So now that I've, I've been making videos for a couple of months and I've progressed a little bit, <clears throat> I want to make <clears throat> another video about where I'm at and show everything that I've got. So one thing I'm about, I'm, I think it's a little weird. I feel a little behind because I'm VIP 18, but I'm only 7 billion power. And I've seen several people that make YouTube videos that obviously they've been playing the game longer than me, but they're like 10 billion power and only VIP 16. So that just tells you, that just tells, tells me that, uh, you can you can accumulate a lot of power over time without spending. Um, you know the VIP level let, lets people know kind of exactly how much you spent. All right, so I'm just going to show everything that I've got where I'm at now. I have um, I have all gold cities except for one purple Japan. Um, I need to get rid of the purple Japan and get rid of the Arabia. And I'm going to get Korea's. So where I'm at with the spectacles, I have my base subsidy spectacles done. I have one European full spectacle. You're probably looking at this and be like, oh, why does he have a European? Well, I have one's full spectacles out. It just, if you split it up a little bit, it's a lot easier to get those keys for several. Like most people want all Japan's. Well, if you do all Japan's, how how long is it going to take you to full spectacle all your Japan's? It's going to take like forever, right? Because people bid those up the most. So my base one is full spectacle. My European is full spectacle. Um, the one Russia I have is full spectacle. And I'm going to full spectacle this America. I need two more Amer Americas are pretty easy to get, but I need two more Americas to full spectacle that. And then I need, I basically, I basically will need a bunch of Koreas and um, a bunch of Japans. So how many Japans do I have? Just two? Oh, I thought I had three. Hold on a second. Two? Three, three. Yeah, I have three Japans. Three Japans, one Russia. One America, one... Uh, European. Anyways, okay, that's that's where I'm at with my subsidies. Let's jump to civilization treasures. All my treasures are at level six. I'm about halfway to getting enough treasure boxes to go to level seven. I'm a little bit more than halfway. Um, I just completed another civilization set, so I am at all my civilization. Uh, Gears have advanced refining unlocked, so I have three, four, I have five sets of civilization gear. And the next one that I'm going to work on is um, the Thebes set. I really want to do the Freedom, I really want to do the Freedom Hero set. Just the thing is, is that um, you can slowly eventually get those over time from the Alliance boss. And, uh, you know, if I could get all three of the ones that, that cost you money to do the cake, if I could get all three of those from the Alliance boss, I mean, I, I rank one on the Alliance boss damage every time we have the Alliance boss, so I'm getting 300 more currency from that and whatever currency you get from the event. So the last pack I opened, I got the chest, so, that, so I have one of the rares. Um... But I kind of want to do that next because it has the 30% mark size, which is like huge. But I think I'm going to wait. I'm going to wait until I randomly get one more piece of those rares, either the the weapon or the, I think it's the boots. If I get the weapon or the boots, then I'll use, I'll use one of the, the boxes to claim, to claim the last piece and I'll get that 30% mark size. Okay. Now let's look at my spiritual beasts. I have, I'm waiting until the next super feeding event to level up Mandy, but basically all my spiritual, 
all my spiritual beasts, I have rank 46. Or I have level 46. On all of them. Okay, except that one's 51. Yeah, they're all 46, and one of them is 51 on the seals. And I basically have bought the, uh, whatever the cheapest next seal is. I've been ranking them all up, whatever the cheapest was. Except for, I built up some resources production ones. All the ones that had resources production, I got them to 14. And then I also, a couple of the mounted troop attacks, I leveled up. They just get so expensive to level up. Like, so this one uses 270 blood crystals to go to level 9. Right, obviously, the next one I'm going to level is Nandy. It only costs 120 for rank 1. But I have, I have one of these that's at rank 19 out of 20. And that will show you what the cost is for the last level. It's a lot. It's like almost 2,000 or something. Let me, let me find it here. Okay, that one's 20 out of 20. I got one of the marching troop attacks 20 out of 20, but I have another one that's 19 out of 20. I don't, I don't remember um, what it is. But you see 14 out of 20. To, to get rank 15 at 7.30, it's like six times the cost of going from rank 1 to 2. So I think that's what you want to do is you want to level up. You want to level up um, whatever is the cheapest cost. Is. Oh, it's right here. Okay, so yeah, the last rank cost 1820 So that's expensive. Um, that's like... 13 ranks of rank 1 to 2, or 14 ranks or something, that you could get instead. Okay, so that's the spiritual beast. Um, as far as my buildings are going, my keep is upgrading to level 40 right, right now. So, it is the consuming return event. It is a consuming return event for construction speed up and comma speed up. And I'm going to uh, I'm gonna speed it up and complete the keep once they have a um, depending on what day they have the uh, the monarch server competition that does uh, city development or power increase. I'll speed it up then. Um all my you know, as far as the buildings, all my resource producers are level 39, except for the food ones. Because I might change the four food ones I have to be producing wood. Um, my four, uh, my four troop building spots are, are all level... 38 except for stables is level 39 um yeah stables is level 39 because i'm working on getting that to 40 that's why i want keep 40 so i can get t15 troops um i do have some buildings that are behind like i haven't really put much into the holy palace oh it's 37 that's not too bad but my archer tower, I think that's lagging behind a little bit. Oh, it's 37 as well. Hmm, I must have got bored on the 37 level and upgraded stuff. But my, uh, oh, I should, I should show my detail page. That will give a good summary of um, where, I'm, where I'm at and multiple things. Yeah, so my tech power is 130.7 million. Um... I was talking about my resource producers. They're all level 39. So if I converted my four food to to lumber, that would be... that I, I could only have nine lumber producers, but I would still... It would be over six million per hour. So that feels pretty, that feels pretty good. Um, yeah, my troops... I'm, uh, I, I still, you know, it's an endless battle to build more troops, but, um, where I'm at right now, 
is I have at least three million of everything T11 and up. Yeah, everything T11 and up, I have at least three million. I have a lot of siege machines, level uh, tier eleven and tier twelve. When when I when I made these tier eleven and tier twelve siege machines, I used eighty billion stone. So it might not seem like a lot compared to some players, but you know it's a lot. Like to get eighty billion stone, and then you know the wood the 20, you know, 7 billion wooden ore you would need, you would need. I mean, it takes a lot of packages to do that. I mean, doing a full cake, but doing all the level 5 optional chests for those three resources, you could probably make that many siege machines in one cake, something like that. Anyways, it seemed like a lot when I did it. I just, I wanted to get enough siege machines to where I would I would be able to get, you know, a bunch of them killed in battlefields and just use them over and over again. It really weakens the opponent. You know, if they have siege machines themselves, it gives you a good score. But, like, using... I, I'll do, like, siege machine attacks, like, three of them in a row, right? I'll hit them with siege machines, like, three times. And then I'll hit them with range and then mounted and then range and then mounted. And then I might hit them with ground. But ground doesn't work too good to get against uh, people with a T1 mounted wall. Most people have a T1 mounted wall. So that's my, my troops. Everything below tier 11, I have at least a million of. And then I have a little bit more of uh, a little bit more of some of the siege machine ranks. And then down to down to where it's down to, uh, see now I'm below a million on some of these because of attacking people in SVS. And them having a prison that's not full. So that's why I'm below a million sometime. But what I'm what, <clears throat> what I'm gonna be working on the, in, for the next like five or six months is getting all of the uh, I'm gonna get all the troop buildings up to level 40. I want to make at least a full march size of all T15 troops. It's probably gonna take like six months to do that maybe more and then after after uh after i complete all that i'm gonna do i'm gonna go to keep level 42 and when i'm keep level 42 and i have both my academies and the rally spot upgraded to level 42 what i'm gonna do then is i'm gonna i'm gonna fill up I'm going to fill up all my layers with more troops. So I want to have, what I want to do then is I just want to start building troops. And I'm going to start, I'm going to start with tier one, tier two of all troops. I want to have five million. I want to have five million of everything all the way up. And I'll just start from the lowest. I'll go from lowest to highest. Over the next several months, you know, make sure I have at least 5 million of all T1s, all T2s, all T3s. You know, those, those tiers will go fast. I'll get I'll get up to 5 million in those just, you know, a week or two. And then I'll, that's what I'll be working on for like the foreseeable future for the next, you know, year. <laughs> One and a half years or something, getting five five million 5 million of everything all the way up into t15 i'll just stay level 42 for a long time i'm gonna be stuck at level 40 for like you know a while it's gonna take a long dang time to get all those troop levels in the academies and stuff up to level 40 and make all those troops at t15 but anyways that's the plan with that um let's show what i have for for subsidy generals i can show that um, Ziska, I love that guy. I'm gonna get more of him this event. I'm gonna five star Ziska this event. Gilgamesh, I want to get him up some more. My Baldwin is uh, fully ascended, and uh, I really like uh, Mark Anthony. Not so, not so happy about Eon Gasman. 
I, I like Harold. I actually like him a little bit more than Nero, but um, I've got some pretty good uh, subsidy generals, as you can see here. I obviously need to get you know a few more stars on a couple of them. That should be a little hot higher up like Darius I basically what I, what I basically want to do is I want to get the star level on each of them that has depth into survival rate because you all all the troops get killed so fast but if you have survival rate of like 15 or 20 percent that's gonna that's gonna get that's gonna keep you from having zero troops for you know several hits for a while you're not gonna you're not gonna be down to zero troops so some of them, there's like a couple of them where you get that on the second star, but most all of them you have to get to the third red star to have death and survival rate. See, like Ziska, he has it on the second red star. That's really good. But most of them have train speed on the second red star. So Ziska has survival rate on the second red star, train speed on the third. I think he might be the only one. That one's training on the second. Training. Training. He might be the only one that has death and survival on the second star. Training. Yeah, I think he's the only one. Oh no. Uh, Jan Carroll also has it on the second star. Okay, so I have Jan Carroll to the level that I want. Training speed. Yeah, everybody... Everybody's on, on the third star for death and survival rate. So I only have, uh, I have Ziska, I have Baldwin, death and survival rate, Mark Anthony, Yeon, Harold, yeah, and, and Nord, no, not Nordic Barbarian King. So I have to get more Nordic Barbarian King, more Hojo. Wait, do I have enough to ascend him? Oh, I need one more Hojo. Okay. Um, Jan Carroll has death into survival rate. Yeah. Nice. Okay, so um, what else should I talk about? I have uh, where I'm at with my dragons is I have one dragon at level 15. Uh, and I then I have like three of them at 14. I want to get six. You know, I want to get all six of them to 15. You know, I just have the first two in here. I haven't had an all-stars yet. Some of these dragons are just like kind of a waste putting resources in. Like the only dragon, the only dragon in here that I think is good is the first one. These, these other theory are kind of like crap. Like I have, um... One of them assigned to sub to us, uh, or I have two of my dragons assigned to subsidies. You know, you do the all stars, you get way better dragons. It just costs so many resources to get these to 15. It's like the better plan would probably be to just bank all those resources and not level up any of these dragons, and then just you know save all those dragon coins and use them all when you, when I get an all star dragon. But um. I've been uh, I've been putting all my resources into these each super feeding event. That's what I've been doing. I probably should I could have thousands of dragon coins saved up right now that when I get an all-star dragon, I could just level it to 15 within a week, you know, using all the dragon coins on it. But I didn't do that. I probably should. So that's where I'm at with the dragons. All right, so I went over Civ gear, subsidies, my troops, my dragons and my beasts, my building levels. Oh, my ideal land. Let's let's see where I'm at with my ideal land. So my goal for ideal land is I want to get the 5,000 prosperity points so I can level it up one more. And the way I'm going about doing that is... The, the, the easiest, so that one's max level, that one's max level, and that one's max level. So I have three at max level. But if you want to get prosperity points for the cheapest, what you want to do is you want to do the lower levels of all of them. So what I mean by that is, 
Oh, shoot. What did I do? What did I do? Oh, no. I deleted my building. All right, here it is. What I mean by that is you want to get level one on all of them. So, so level one gives you 50 pri prosperity points. And then level two gives you 50 more prosperity points as well. But the thing about it is, let's see, that one's level two. So level one, level one and level two is only going to use one of them. And you'll, and you'll get, uh, 50 prosperity points for each level so 100 prosperity points right but once you hit but once you hit level two it costs two of them it costs two and it only gives you 50 prosperity points so to get to level two it costs it costs two of the uh you know of whatever item it is so i would need two drinking fountains to go to level two and I'd get 100 prosperity points. After that, it lowers. I need two drinking fountains to go to level three and only get 50 prosperity points. So right now, it, what I want to do is level up every single one of these to level two. So I get one, two, how many do I have at level one? I have two, that's three, four, five, Six. So I have seven at level one. So I get I'll get three hundred and fifty prosperity points, leveling them up to level two, which will put me at five forty. Forty five forty. So then I only need to I basically need to level up ten of them to level three to uh <clears throat> to hit five thousand. I need to hit five thousand to go to level five ideal land but well, that's what i'm working on next getting all of them to level two once i have all of them to at least level two i'll level up the rest i'll level up as many as i need to level three to hit five thousand so yeah i've got three of them at level 10 this one's at level eight and then i have you know several at levels two so far so that's where i'm at with the ideal land <clears throat> um Oh, I can show I can show which uh, which duty officer generals I have. I just I just appointed three of them that I had leveled up uh, yesterday. I, I appointed them. Um, so I have most of the new duty officers. I I am missing a few. I don't think I have the new Archer Tower Tower officer. And. Yeah, Archer Tower Officer is the old one. The Rally Point Officer is the old one. But my Rally Point Officer is... He has a lot invested in him. So I think I'm going to keep the old Rally Spot Officer. And, uh... And, uh... Not upgrade to the new one unless I get to the point where I have a ton of him. Which is not probably not going to happen. So yeah, I have most of the new uh, duty officers, although they don't have any, you know, red stars or, or they just have one because there's only been, you know, a few chances to get them. But um, but yeah, so I have, I think I have all new duty officers in everything except for the rally spot and the and the archer tower. Yeah. Except for the rally spot and the archer tower, I have the new, new versions of duty officers in every spot. So that feels good. Um. Oh, one one other thing that I that I have is I have debuff skill books. On uh, I have three debuff skill books on all of the subsidy generals that I consider premium. So Ziska's got. Ziska has three, Gilgamesh has three, or no, Gil Gilgamesh has two. What, see, what I did was, on all of them, before putting debuff skill books on them, I made sure they had a level four rebirth. And if, if I was able to get two of the 
skill books on him and it didn't override the rebirth, then I kept the rebirth. Um, I think I think I only had one or two that have the rebirth on them because the uh, debuff skill books overrid them, and you know you don't want to keep using, you don't want to try to stick a, a rebirth back on, back on them and override one of the uh, debuff skill books that landed. So yeah, I've got I've got real good. Um, Deep of skill books. Now, Eon Gassaman doesn't have them because I don't consider him premium. I didn't stick him on Herald either. Nordic Barbarian King has three. Um, Jan Carroll has three. And Darius has Darius has three. So what I'll do in the future, if I ever buy those packages again, what I'll do is I will, if I get an enemy ground troop hit points I'll raise that to level three you know I'll raise all these level ones to level threes of the exact same type if I get um if I get those skill books so yeah I got so that's the debuff skill books that I have I don't have any officer skill books for the duty officers although I do have some I just have a few like five or something of the officer skill book chess um, what is it next to? The officer's skill book chest. Oh, it's, it's next to all the, it's next to all of the skill books. Hold on. I get, I get so much crap in my inventory. Where are all of the skill books? I, I'm pretty sure it's just five that I have, but I'm waiting until I have, you know, more. I think I'm going to buy some of those packs this event. It's a really good event to buy those packs in the uh, Trial of Knights event. Yeah, right here. Yeah, five. I have five officer skill books. So I think I'm going to buy those packs because um, that's, that's, those packs actually have, like if, if a pack has a thing that has random generals, specifically Trial of Knights, I guess sometimes... Maybe it's, sometimes there's other packs, but um, if it has if it has like at least three generals that I would use, I'll buy some of those packs. But it's kind of nice because this comes with the officer skill book chest as well as chests to get random generals. So I need more Macals. I need more Zis because this is a new duty officer general. I need more Pachacutis, although he's not that great. But I th I think I still would use him over Nero. Or one of my other duty officers, and I need I need more John Hanyadis, and then obvious and then I, I could also use some Sue Chets and Marcus Agrippa. I don't have fifteen of, so what would be a waste if is if I get John one of Portugal or Swain because I already have sixteen copies of him. So those are the only two that I, that are useless for me. So yeah, I'm going to buy some of these packs. I might buy up to 10 of these packs because what I really need is I need two more John Hanyadis to uh, to fully ascend him. Oh, I didn't show my Council of State or my Victory Column. So I have a level 7 uh, Victory Column. I need uh, three more Generals at, at 10 Red Stars. And then for my Council of State, I have... So level four on this one, level three on that one. I need a higher victory column to get to unlock more generals and marshal. I get, and then I have two two of each of these unlocked. Um, and then as far as the level of them, the first two are level fifteen or twenty. And then the next one I don't think are leveled up that much at all. Those are level five. Yeah, upgrading upgrading position level. Yeah, because these have in rally stats, which is why which is why I didn't level them up. Because we don't we haven't our, my server hasn't gotten to the point where we where we do 
where we have alliances that do rallies for battlefields or anything like that. We haven't gotten to that level of competitors we're facing. You know, in our battlefields, it's all about, you know, battling over the building. So I haven't, I haven't worried about trying to get anything that's in rally. I think it's kind of interesting. I, I think as far as attack, the first one is the best. Is the best one. Like if you look at the, uh, if you look at the stats and promotion for the whole thing, it it has a lot of good um, attack stuff. But then it gets really expensive to go to the next level. Twelve thousand. I mean, it's going to take you a couple of cakes, maybe three cakes, to get that full amount to do twelve thousand. But it has some nice attack buffs, whereas um, all the other ones have, like, in rally. I think this one might have good attack. No, this is, like, mostly all in city. There's some attacking stuff. Um, but, yeah, that's what's harder to get is uh, is attack stats. They're really it's, it's really easy to get a defensive keep and, and defensive stats. And there's so many in city stats and you know the t1 wall of course is going to help with defense but it's just it's a little harder to get those attack stats so that's where i'm at with the uh with the council of state and then huh i was just thinking about one thing that i wanted to show so one other thing i didn't I didn't go over that I wanted to show. Hold on, give me give me a second here. Prison, workshop, holy palace. Oh my champions. Where I'm at with my champions. So I got level 17, 19, 20, 19, 15, 5. So from the level 5 optional chest, I was doing the ruby necklace for a long time. Like every single one of those packs I got, I was doing all ruby necklaces for like 4 or 5 months. But now I'm doing uh, the uh, art treasure scrolls. I just started doing the art treasure scrolls like 2 weeks ago. And all my art treasures, I just, I just got all my art treasures to level 5. So that's where I'm at with um, art treasures. They only go to level 6, but I'm going to do art treasure scrolls from the optional chest until I get to level 6. And then I'll go back to back to ruby necklaces. Because because from the, uh, the greetings, you actually get a lot each day for free. You get, you get something around like... Because you get 10 greets and then you get 15 of the... When you're just clicking on them. The 15 are 7,000 each. And then the ones where you click on the heart, or the ones where you click on the on the greeting, I think those are 15,000 each. Whereas a ruby necklace is only 12,000. So basically each day for free, you get something like 20 ruby necklaces worth of points. So you actually, you can level, you can level all these up for free slowly over time. And I got to the point where I got most of the stats I need, so I'm just not gonna, I'm not gonna do the ruby necklaces anymore. I'm gonna get those art treasure scrolls. So that's where I am with champions. Let's see. I went over my building levels. I went over resources, tech power, and the victory column, council estate. Let's see. I talked about. My civilization gear. And I know I'm forgetting about... Uh, I'm forgetting something because I just thought of it when I was looking at the Council of State. And I re-forgot it. I forgot it again, man. Um, I don't know. I don't know what it was. I talked about all my generals. Uh, yeah. I guess that's... I guess that's going to be a wrap. I hate trying to make a video talking about everything or where I'm at. And then I forget something I can talk about. 
Oh yeah, I went over most of the stuff. Now it's just I hope that we can get <clears throat> enough power level in our alliance so we can actually get matched up against people for battlefields that we can get enough points off of to get into all stars. To get into all stars, because I haven't even gotten into a junior all stars uh, yet. Um, are, are just there are opponents that we're matched up against. Just you can't get enough points from the buildings and the opponents all together. You know, we're we're like our alliance is only like fifteen billion power or something. Yeah, I'm in an alliance leg. So we yeah, got 18, 18 billion power. Now, the Alliance RFR here, they did get um, into a junior battle. Three of their guys got into junior battlefields in the last round of Battle of Const Constantinople. But we, uh, we, you just need some higher power. I mean, a lot, of a lot of times we just get matched up against people from older servers and they have like one or two players. And you just can't get any points. So once you zero that one dude that has like six billion power, and then you occupy as many buildings as possible, just can't get the points. So that's one thing I'm hoping for. I really want to get to the. I really want to get to the point. You know, like a year from now, where I'm at keep level forty two, and I can just start making as many troops as possible, boost up my power, you know, significantly, and then we'll be matched against people that will give enough points. Um, so yeah, I, th I guess that's, I guess that's it. I know I still have one thing that I can't remember. Oh, I, I can show my fame, but that wasn't it. Where am I at with my fame? 2548. I can show the rankings. Or no. I want to show glory achievement. So I so I think it shows fifty. It shows the general rankings on the server. Eighteen of my generals are in the top fifty on the server. Let me go to this. General ranking? Does it show fifty? I think it shows fifty. Oh no, it shows a hundred. 18 of mine are in the top 100. I mean, I've got all Civ gear and uh, dragons leveled up, so they give more point. They give points. So I've got the top. I've got four of the top five generals. Um, Monarch power, obviously. Oh, that guy passed me up. He passed me up. I knew he was going to pass me up. I told him. I was like, man, you're going to pass me up in points because I haven't been building any troops. For a while, it just takes so many resources. But I was I was rank one for the you know the longest. This is the first time I'm seeing him rank two, which I'm not concerned about. I just I got to get this keep to level forty. I got to get you know the academies rally spot to forty, stables to forty. But I got a lot of resources saved. I got enough resources to do all that saved up. So I got a hundred billion food. 120 lumber, 120 billion lumber, 100 billion stone, 120 billion ore saved up, and then I have, you know, <clears throat> the, these up here available. So I've got enough to do, I have almost enough to do the stables, or stables to 40, both academies and the rally spot. The stables cost a lot. The stables cost a lot. 68 billion. And then to do all three of the other ones is like 87 billion ore. So 100, 140, 150, 5 billion ore. I need 155 billion ore. And I've got 120 here, 130. And then when I open all these, I'll get 10% of that. So I'll get another 12 billion, 142. Yeah, I'm, re I'm real close to be able to make all those. And I'll be buying some packages this event. So yeah, I'll have enough to do all that. Stables 40, both academies and the rally spot. And then I can finally start building some uh, T-15 mounted troops. Alright guys. That's all. That's what I want to talk about. Where I'm at. What I'm working on. 
and uh, kind of my you know medium to long term term goals. Thanks for watching.